This is my drawing of the superfluid antigravity centrifuge engine, which is used in all of the ATS craft at Area 51. It's basically a hollow container sometimes. They are just like a circular tub, but the faster sport models use a hollow donut shape instead, a torus. The container is uh, filled with a special kind of liquid. It's I know I don't know its exact composition because that was like out of my department, but I can tell you that it was a dense, viscous, silvery fluid. And when you looked at it, it changed color from green to purple. Uh, this green-purple luminescent optical property uh, could only be seen in white light with a uh, like blue-green spectrum. Um, so they had all the lights switched to sodium lamps, um, so that wouldn't you couldn't tell this. Um, the container is uh, hooked up to a refrigeration cycle, uh, which keeps the fluid inside supercooled below its lambda point. Um, the fluid then becomes a superfluid, which of course flows with zero resistance. Um, the fluid is also a ferrofluid, uh, although I'm not sure if the fluid itself is ferromagnetic or whether it has ferromagnetic particles suspended in the fluid, like tiny magnets or, or something, but these are the only two really important properties of the fluid that you need to be concerned with is that, that it's a superfluid and a ferrofluid. Um, the magnetic coiling is uh, on the outside which will produce a magnetic field to propel the fluid around the inside of the container. It's, it's what you need a magnetic fluid so you have magnets on the outside to make the fluid spin around the inside and because it's a superfluid spinning it faster and faster it won't ever it won't ever slow down because the superfluid state has effectively removed all the friction so this thing can just get sped up super fast and uh, the coil itself is wound uh, in the um, sport models with the toroidal shaped container the coil is uh, wound to a specific vortex geometry um, there's a mathematician named Marco Rodin who created an identical coil in which he calls the Rodin coil uh, but it's the same exact coiling used in the sport model crafts with a toro toroidal or donut shaped uh, accelerator. So if you use the right hand rule to trace all the magnetic field lines generated by this coiling you'll find that they max at infinity in the center of the torus around like the inside, the very inside and they sort of swirl around in a vortex pattern around that infinity max down at the, the very center of the container. It's sort of a spiral within a spiral like it's a spiral that's spinning around the circle, which um, this generates an extremely powerful magnetic field uh, that swirls the fluid around inside at incredibly high speed, uh, about 60,000 RPMs. That's basically a thousand revolutions every second. Um, and this creates the anti-gravity effect, and that's how it works. That's how to build it. That's all the steps you need. You just need the refrigeration unit, the magnetic coiling, and a superfluid. And it's a perfectly spherical container. It would help to make the container out of something really strong because the forces that are generated by this will rip the container literally apart because you need, you need a really strong container. The um, containers that they use are made of a specialized uh, aluminum alloy. It's... Uh, it's like nothing you've ever seen before, but I'll have more on that in another video later. I just wanted to get the plans and everything up on the anti-gravity device and, and, and the anti-gravity centrifuge engine so that people could see how these UFOs fly, what sort of propulsion system they're using. And, um, you know, of course, the only way to debunk this is to make your own and, and see if it works. I'm sure you could find some superfluid to use that would also have ferrofluid properties, but, of course, you're going to need cryogenics lab and a bunch of scientists. Um, let me know if you need any help.